This is what the sound of my voice looks like. It has been sliced into 20 logarithmically spaced frequency bands, so the amplitude of my voice is controlling the height of each object. This is also what the sound of my voice looks like. It's based on the same underlying principle, but now my voice is controlling the height of these keycaps, where each row of keys has a slight offset in time that creates a ripple effect. Now the frequencies in my voice are controlling the rotation instead. It's still based on the same principle, where the amplitude of my voice is controlling the animation, but we're simply applying the data to the rotation channel instead. And it just works. Now I'm a continuous curve flying through space. The amplitude of my voice is being measured 30 times per second, which controls the height of the curve. So this creates a trail of sound that shows the history of the amplitude of my voice. Now I'm 20 curves, and each curve represents one of the 20 logarithmically spaced frequency bands. So now we can see the history of the amplitude of all the specified frequencies in three dimensions flying through the air. And the best part is, this audio visualizer works with any audio file. If you're wondering why you haven't heard from me in six months, it's because I've been working full time on making my first course and it's finally ready. The Audio Visualizer Masterclass is an in-depth course for making highly customizable pre-rendered audio reactive animations in Blender. So if you're a 3D artist or a musician, or if you want to just learn how to make really customizable audio visualizers in Blender, I've made this course for you. Okay, let me show you what's included in this course. First of all, the total amount of tutorial content here is over 17 hours. So if you've watched any of my YouTube tutorials before, I think you'll like it, because in this course, I'm still explaining things step by step, but way more in depth and in general, just way better planned because each project builds upon the previous one. So watching these lessons becomes like a journey in creating audio visualizations. And I've had so much fun recording and preparing all of this. So this course is made for every skill level, from beginner all the way to advanced. First, you'll learn four distinct audio visualizer techniques, and then we'll customize those projects into an additional 11 unique variations that are based on the same underlying principles, but they look and feel different. So for example, this frequency band visualizer can be customized with geometry nodes to make these curved trails, or the twisting waveforms can be improved with some clever light linking to add this emission effect. Or the object simulated in the falling notes project doesn't need to be notes, it can be lyrics that fall down and reveal a hidden word at the end. Or the melody visualizer doesn't need to be this dark, we can set the background to be this real-life video footage I shot with my drone. So this course is all about teaching you the fundamental principles of audio visualization, and then giving you the powerful customization tools on top of that, so you can create something unique. And in addition to all these video lessons, I've also spent several weeks putting together some really valuable course assets. So here's what you also get in this course. You get 20 blend files, which includes templates and presets, as well as all the completed projects from the course. You get 15 audio files to practice audio visualization with, where six of them are custom songs I made that you can use freely in your publicly shared videos if you want to share your results from the course. Then you also get some other fun stuff, like this waveform generator I made, where you can take any audio file and slice it up into vector objects that you can import into Blender. And there's a MIDI to OBJ converter, which is a super easy way to turn MIDI files into 3D objects. And there's a course guide PDF with detailed summaries of every single lesson in this course, with a clickable table of content, by the way, so you can just jump right to the part you're curious about. And then I've saved the best for last, because included with this course is a dedicated Blender add-on, the Audio Visualizer Assistant. This is an add-on I've been developing while making this course, and it's become such a powerful tool. With just one click, you can create a frequency band audio visualizer from any audio file. But what makes it really powerful is that you can turn any number of objects into a frequency band visualizer. 
Just select the objects you want to visualize, specify the transformation channels and axes you want to apply the animation data to, and then you just click the big red button. The add-on takes the number of objects, distributes the frequency bands between them, you can even specify the type of distribution, and then it adds animation data to those objects. And it's just so powerful and so fun to use, and I'm really excited about what you will create with this. So this add-on has turned into a tool I use every time I'm working with audio in Blender. Like the one-click import an audio file and set the frame range is such a nice quality of life thing. Or this feature to process text to be used as a lyric visualizer. And there's also included documentation if you want to learn more about the add-on. So that is the Audio Visualizer Masterclass. It's available on two different platforms, either Superhive or Teachable. So if you want to watch the course completely offline, where you download all the video lessons, you can buy it on Superhive which used to be called Blender Market. Or you can buy it on Teachable, which is an online course platform where you can watch the lessons online and track your progress. Yeah, so you can choose what's best for you. I'll leave the link to both platforms in the description of this video. So that's it. I've never worked this hard on anything in my life before, and I really hope you'll enjoy my course. Thanks for watching.